What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, although the Madam Web disaster was something I think a lot of us saw coming, it apparently blindsided Sony, and so much so it was said to have canceled their plans to build out that part of their Spider-Man-less Spider-Verse, but regardless of the damage done by that film, there are still two on the release slate that are coming in no matter what. Craven rated R later this year, and of course the completion of the Venom trilogy, where Sony is hoping that the damage done by Morbius, Madam Web, and we'll see about Craven won't impact that bottom line where the first two Venom films were able to generate $1.3 billion between them. Well, today we got an official update from Sony. They moved the date for Venom 3. They also gave it an official title. We're going to dive into those latest official updates and then dive into some of the rumors about what the plot of this film is actually going to be. We're breaking it all down, the latest announcements for Venom 3. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry inside a report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner for the finale of X-Men 97. Again, all you gotta do be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so this actually broke late this afternoon, early this evening from Variety under the headline, Venom 3 is now titled Venom The Last Dance, Tom Hardy sequel moves up to October date, where they go on to report, quote, the third installment of the Venom franchise finally has an official title, Venom The Last Dance. Sony also moved up the film's official release date to October 25th, 2024 from the previously announced November 8th date. They go on to say, quote, plot details are still under wraps, but Tom Hardy will return as the lethal protector Eddie Brock Venom in the film, also starring Juno Temple, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and Clark Dacko. Now, a couple of other unrelated pieces of news, or rather one of them is related, but not that it matters at this point. Tom Hardy actually revealed the title for Venom 3 on his Instagram, and right after they returned to filming and production, after the actors and writers strikes were over last year, he posted to his Instagram Venom 3 The Last Dance and then posted a message to the crew. So we've actually known the title and for quite some time. I will also say that some of you probably saw the news floating around out there that there's a Venom animated project being done that's reportedly going to be rated R and headed by Seth Rogen. And while my fingers are crossed that that will actually happen, there is no telling if those reports are even true, let alone if Tom Hardy would be back for that character. And while the name The Last Dance implies that the Venom franchise will be ending, and I'm sure whatever other plans they had for this part of the Spider-Verse, now that Madam Web absolutely flopped, have changed considerably, I still think there's a chance that Tom Hardy and Tom Holland, the Clash of the Toms, has been Sony's goal and since the beginning. And so if there isn't a Spider-Man in this movie, especially Tom Holland to speak of, that Tom Hardy someday may show up at least as Venom in the MCU and after his franchise is over. Now, the rumored title for this film before it was confirmed to be Last Dance was Lethal Protector, and it tied to some of the original rumors about the plot that we heard that he might be lethally protecting a very young or even infant version of a Peter Parker, and that's what might end up tying his storyline over to Tom Holland. But I think it is very likely now that we have made it this late in the Venom game, this late in the Sony spider verse that there is no shot of any Peter Parker, Miles Morales, or any other Spider-Man of any kind showing up in this film. Some rumors have placed Toxin as the villain, but other plot leaks had Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, and even Tom Holland showing up. I wouldn't count on any of that, guys. I think it's pretty clear at this point that Sony is intent on continuing to make these movies, and as my buddy Brandon Davis over at comicbook.com actually put forward as a theory recently, and I think I 100% agree with this, there may be a stipulation between Sony and Marvel that makes it so that Sony can't make any Spider-Man movies, or rather use Spider-Man in any of these movies that they're making in the Sony-verse, and that's why they're not. They're simply continuing to press forward and make the movies they can make, and not put a Spider-Man in them, and really, the real reason is, is because Marvel probably locked them out contractually when they put Tom Holland's Peter Parker in the MCU, and again, while this was just a theory of Brandon Davis's, I actually think it holds a lot of water because it's the only reason the only reason you could explain them not having put any Spider-Man in any one of these films. And for a studio like Sony that the phrase just because we could doesn't mean we should absolutely doesn't apply to, if you're going to go ahead and make Madam Web movies without Spider-Man, that tells you ipso facto that if they could use Spider-Man, they would have already put him in probably all of these films, and they haven't which means they can't. And sadly, for this Venom film, I think that, at least for now, Venom 3 is going to come and go, and we will not see Venom cross over with Spider-Man. Any hopes for that has to be in the MCU, and even though we know that Tom Hardy left a piece of his symbiote in this... Um, 
A piece of that Venom symbiote in the MCU given the post credit scenes for both Venom 2 and Spider-Man No Way Home, and we know from Spider- and we know from set photos recently posted by Tom Hardy that apparently Venom 3 is going to pick up in the aftermath of those scenes from the post credit scene of No Way Home. I still think the thinnest of odds that they're going to cross over during this film. We'll have to wait for some future meeting if there's ever going to be one for Venom and Spider-Man. It's just sad. Three Venom movies are going to come and go, and we're going to get a PG-13, let there be carnage, before they do a rated R Venom, and Venom will never meet Peter Parker. I have I have no idea. You guys, no idea. Really, the darkest timeline. But you guys let me know all your actual... Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel. The next one is at the end of this month to coincide with the finale of X-Men 97. So if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. In the meantime, guys, if you ever get a comment from what looks like some spam account, remember that anybody can borrow a content creator's photo, claim to be that content creator. It's all a scam and a ruse to try to get you to pay for shipping for a prize that doesn't exist. They were targeting this channel uh, at the end of last year, or should I say 2022, and it's been a while, but unfortunately one of my friends is still dealing with this. So friendly reminder, if you should ever get a comment saying you've won something and for you to contact them on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp, it's probably a scam. Never share your information on there. It's not safe. And of course, never pay for shipping. No content creator. No one who ever tells you you've won a prize, if you've actually won, is going to charge you for shipping. That's just not something that people do. So if you should ever get a comment like that on YouTube or Instagram, just make sure to report it to the respective platform because I promise you, Content creator already knows and is doing everything they can about it as fast as they can, but the platform themselves, like YouTube, can delete the comment way quicker, and really you're doing everybody at the community a service, because not only is that comment deleted for you, but for every other account they've commented on. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around, we'll be posting again real, real soon.